Rainforests are vibrant habitats that can support an abundance of life found normally in humid and moist areas of the world. They provide air, water, medicine, food and shelter and are home to around half of Earth's discovered terrestrial species. Guesses of the exact number lie between 3 to 50 million. Two thirds of the planet's plant species live in rainforests and a quarter of rainforest plants help humans in medicines. Rainforests cover 2.5% of the earth and 8% of the land. 53% are found in the Americas. Rainforests are the lungs of our planet, producing 20 to 30% of the planet's oxygen. Most are found near the equator, between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. A rainforest normally has a river flowing through it and it becomes a drainage basin. There are four layers to the rainforest. Each layer receives a certain amount of rainfall and sunlight depending on how dense the vegetation above is. As a result, different species live in different layers. They have evolved to their layer and to survive amongst the animals and plants around them. Not a lot of sunlight reaches the forest floor in dense areas. The whole ground is covered with fungi, plants and animals. Ants, fungi and bacteria decompose dead bodies. The understory is well protected from hostile weather, giving plants a refuge to grow. Jaguars and leopards thrive here. The lively canopy is home to between 50 to 90% of the species in the rainforest. There's a good amount of sunlight so there's a lot of growth. The emergent layer of the rainforest is where the tallest trees reach above the rest of the canopy. The animals there include many birds. The largest rainforest is the Amazon in South America and it covers 40% of the continent. 90% of the animals in the Amazon are arthropods and 3,600 of them are spiders. Howler monkeys live in the northwestern Amazon. Their howl can be heard from up to 3 miles away, making it among the loudest animals on Earth. Endangered red-faced spider monkeys live in the northern Amazon. They don't have a thumb, but have four hook-like fingers. Emperor tamarins live in Bolivia, Brazil and Peru. Most males only see in blue and green. Most females only see in blue, green and red and combinations of it. Scarlet ibises live in the Caribbean islands and northern and western South America. Similar to flamingos, they eat shrimp containing a red substance that turns their feathers red. Brazilian tapirs live in South American eco-regions near water. They are excellent swimmers and would even use their strange nose as a snorkel. Green iguanas live in Central and South American rainforests. They can swim excellently or jump up to 40 to 50 feet down when threatened. Black caimans live in Northern South America in the Amazon and can grow to 17 feet long. Red-bellied piranhas are lethal predators in the Amazon, but they are crucial in the distribution of other fish species. Costa Rican rainforests cover only 0.3% of the world, but they have over 500,000 plant and animal species and 4% of the total species. One of the most adaptable of the cats, the cougar can be found in many places in the Americas, even at the tip of South America. 
Leafcutter ants are a pivotal part of biodiversity and food chains in the Costa Rican and Amazon rainforests. They scavenge, provide food, and are vital in the redistribution of nutrients. Eyelash vipers live in Ecuadorian and Costa Rican rainforests. There's a small group of scales over its sides that give it the name. Hoffman's two-toed sloths move so slow that they grow algae on their fur and become a habitat for some insects. Northern Tamandi was live in Central and Northern South American rainforests. As well as apt climbers, these anteaters can swim, reported swimming from island to island in the Panamian Republic. Hummingbirds live in rainforests in the Americas. There are over 130 species of hummingbird in Ecuador. The Congo rainforest in Africa is the youngest rainforest and is 50% smaller now due to logging. Gorillas live in Western and Central Africa and all four species are endangered. Although arguably seen more often in open areas like grasslands, an African or Asian elephant's preferred habitat is the rainforest. Red colobuses live in Africa and all species are listed vulnerable or worse on the ICN red list. They have been known to eat clay or charcoal to help combat poisons from their food. The Akapi is the only living relative of the giraffe and it lives only in the Congo. Their tongues are 18 inches long and can lick their own eyeballs and ears. Southeast Asian rainforests are some of the oldest on earth. Bornean orangutans live in Bornean rainforests and have four fingers, a thumb and nails, like us. Long-tailed macaques are intelligent monkeys. They can even live in urban areas. They use the river to escape from predators and to clean food. Root bats are widespread throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, Southern Asia, East Australia and fragments of Southern Europe. As their name suggests, they eat fruit. They take credit for 95% of seed dispersal on early growth in recently cleared forests. Indian flying foxes are large bats that live in Southeast Asian tropical forests and swamps. Leopards are very versatile and they have adapted to life in Southeast Asian rainforests and the Congo. Stick insects live in Southeast Asian rainforests. They can regenerate lost limbs. Every minute, the equivalent area of a football pitch is being felled. So sadly, there are many rainforest deaths such as logging, wildfires, deforestation, agriculture, mining and more. This diamond python is a key predator in East Australian rainforest food chains, controlling populations of small mammals like rats and mice. They would also eat cockatoos. If cockatoos went extinct, some diamond pythons could potentially starve and die over increasing mice and rat numbers. Therefore, we need to protect our rainforests from dying and to balance the food chain, keeping the balance between predator and prey. Captive breeding programs rescue orangutans from the wild and teach them the vital survival skills they'll need in the wild. We still have 99% of the Amazon to explore, and who knows if there's more to find out in other rainforests. We can only find out if we still have our precious rainforests.
Rainforests across the globe store over 100 billion tons of carbon dioxide, so conservation of these ecosystems would be extremely beneficial for the planet. You can help rainforest conservation and its inhabitants by visiting websites like ourplanet.com or wwf.com. If you like this video, like and subscribe for the latest notifications.